Hello everybody, I'm your MC for today, Terrace Brown, and we're here in the beautiful city of Naju. And today we are at the Korea Institute of Energy Technology. And we're here to meet some students. Let's go. Hi. Don't be shy. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Nope. Oh my god. Hello. Nope. Nope. Don't nope. Go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't Anybody here? Can we ask you a question? Oh, can I ask you some questions? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Can we walk with you? Oh, sure. Okay. My name is George. I'm a professor at Kentech. Okay. How long have you been a professor here? Since the beginning. Oh, nice. Well, what do you think about, like, you know, the future of energy and, like, maybe this school? Well, uh, I don't know a lot, but the, I, my understanding is the landscape is, uh, is ideal for things like solar panels and other energy initiatives mm -hmm. so that this can become one energy hub for all of Korea. So a significant per percentage of the electricity can be used here, like uh, Jeju's net positive, right? Okay. So Jeju exports energy mm -hmm. a little bit, and I think, I think that's their goal. I don't know much, but mm. yeah. Is that a student? Let's do it. Um. What? What? Okay. Where, where's your this way? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what? Hi, my name is Young Tak Kim. In I'm a hydrogen train Kentech and graduate student for the master course, and now I'm doing research in the AI for chemistry, so prediction of the great catalyst for variable reactions. Me, I don't study energy. <laughs> So for hydrogen track, hydrogen track is concentrate on how to utilize the hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So as the name implies, as like a new form of energy, or yeah, 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 yeah. In hydrogen track, people try to make the hydrogen as the new format of the energy. Would, what would you say then is like the pride of your school? Why did you choose to come to Naju? <laughs> All the students have to think. Hmm. Can we ask you some questions? Hi, I'm senior of the Kentech and my name is Chiu Chang. I'm so former on Kentech. Don't be shy. What's your goal for the future? Yeah, at first I said like treating the energy is kind of really interesting mm. because for our future goal, like making the net zero and reducing and make mm. the slower climate change, I said the energy is the very important key to mo make much more better life for future generations. generations, so... You're trying to solve a global crisis at the moment. So these are people who will, like, future, hopefully, help slow down global warming and issues like that. So, I mean, I'm thankful to have met you guys. Let's go. Hello. Do you mind if we do, like, a short interview? Yeah, sure. My name is Hyunwoo Kim. My major is artificial intelligence. So did you come here specifically to study AI? I thought that since the energy is the future mm -hmm. and it's the global issue and since in the future it will be much much more important so why not just combine the AI that I'm interested in and energy and energy yeah. Oh, Ooh, interesting. Okay. Thank you. I I I look forward to big things in the future. So it looks like they're showing what what the school is gonna like look like maybe like in 2006 2007 so they're still building it mm. oh my god look at these tables it's so weird my name is Kumyung Lee and I'm sophomore of Kente I'm studying greed grid energy yes why did you pick grid energy? Is there like a specific reason? AI mm -hmm. use lots of electricity, mm -hmm. should follow the development of allocation of electricity. Mm, so, so grid. grid energy can potentially help reduce the electricity that AI is using? Yes. Oh, I see. I, I don't know much about it, but I know that 
Like I've heard when they use AI, it takes up so much like water energy and a whole bunch of other things. So you're working to reduce that. Yes. W what is this desk about? Can you show us? Button you uh -huh. <laughs> Technology. My school could never have anything like this. Hello, can we ask you some questions? To us? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't be shy, it's okay. Uh, my name is Sonari and my major is energy engineering. Yeah, I'm also Son Kim, the junior of Kentech. So I'm also in the uh, department of energy engineering. Any reason that you wanted to study energy? Because uh, the energy is the fundamental source of our future society, so we chose the energy is our special road. So. <laughs> also, is there anything in specific you want to study in the future? I want to study energy I'm looking for students, but they're all hiding from me. Hello. Hello. Can I ask you some questions? Okay. Great. My name is Donggyu. I'm a freshman at Kentech. I'm working on energy now. Mm, is there a reason that you wanted to study energy? I thought it would be a really hit. I mean, mm -hmm. really be a trend. And it's getting trend now, so I thought it Future value will be really right, right. incredible. Future prospects. There are so many things you can do. Yeah, right. So what's your like dream for the future? Oh, Nobel Prize every time. <laughs> future Nobel Prize winner. <laughs> when you win the Nobel Prize, please thank me. And then our voltage is limited by those kind of power supplies. Therefore, the uh, VI characteristics, uh, voltage characteristics can be described. This. Uh... Hello. Can I ask you some questions? Yes. Sure. Okay, can you tell me like what class you were teaching today? Uh, actually, I'm teaching about the electronic therapies. Today, uh, we were covered the uh, diode. I, I was listening yes. and I had no idea <laughs> what... I was just curious why you wanted to teach energy and like why it's important that more people, you know, want to come to this school and start learning about energy. Actually, energy becomes very, very important things because the, as you know, the, our country has a lot of the data centers or the factory or the uh, building structures. So those kind of things requires energies. Yeah, like the limited energies makes the maybe uh, blackout conditions. Mm -hmm. It reduces the strength or of the our countries. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the energy will become more important than now. So do you think Korea is going to be like a leader in energy in the future? Yes, we're prepared to be. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay so how was your visit, visit to Kentech today? I think the way that they do classes here, it's not like your regular school. They said that they learn through projects, which I think is, you know, more interactive for students anyway. I think when I was a student, I didn't like studying, but like learning through things that they can actually use in the future, I think it's like the new way of learning anyway. I haven't gone to school here, but talking to everybody, it seems beautiful. It's like surrounded by beautiful mountains. I'm sure you might see it in the video, but there is not a piece of trash on the floor. And I think maybe all the buildings are like relatively new, so everything about the university seems clean. It just seems like a nice place to study. Okay, everybody, that's it for our time here at Kentech, but if there's another school you want us to visit, let us know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back next time. We'll be back. Bye! <laughs>